Hawaii has some of the strictest gun laws in the country, but following four shootings in five days, some are wondering if the laws need to be tougher. Nikki Shenfeld has more. Nikki? Well, compared to the rest of the country, Hawaii ranks pretty low when it comes to gun violence, but lawmakers could consider making some changes. After four shootings in five days, questions over gun laws here in Hawaii are being raised. That's the thing that would that kind of worries me about uh, four and five days is maybe that attitude is starting to change, and that would be a bad thing. Senator Rhodes says, for the most part, gun owners here use their weapons legally. There's very little gun violence, you know, so I'm not sure that anything major needs to change. There might be some tweaks, but that would be about it. Even statistic experts say guns aren't the weapon of choice in Hawaii. Firearms are, you know, right around the 10 percent uh, of, our, uh, of our violent crimes and about 30 percent of our homicides. And those numbers uh, are, are much lower than, than the national averages. He says having four shootings in almost as many days is quite unusual. That's a little unusual for us. Um, firearms are one of the least likely uh, weapons to be used in violent crimes or murders. He says people here tend to use their bare hands or cutting instruments. And it's usually not at random. Most violent crimes and murders in particular in our state occur between acquaintances, uh, people who know one another, sometimes very well, sometimes not so well, but there's something, there's some sort of connection. We don't see a lot of their, you know, the random street crime. Another law Senator Rhodes might revisit is operating or possessing a firearm while using drugs or alcohol. Unfortunately, when your judgment is bad, it's like driving a car. It's just a really bad idea. You, you, you don't have the same. Uh, you don't make the same judgments. Your judgment's not as good. And if you've got a gun, you can make, if you make a bad judgment, it can have really horrible consequences. And the legislature reconvenes in January. We'll be keeping track of any proposals. Joe. Thanks, Nikki.